Hi. So, um, for those of you wondering why I'm doing this uh, entry, I guess you could call it, um, I am here to talk about my gastric sleeve journey, uh, which started about a year ago now. It is the night before my procedure. Um, right now it is March 28th, 2023. And tomorrow morning, I'll be going in for my gastric sleeve surgery at 7.30 in the morning. So I'm um, kind of here to uh, record my my journey, my results, the ups and downs of it all. Um, it's more like a video reminder for myself um, as to how far I've come for those days that you know, I know are going to be hard and I'm going to want to look back and see uh, the progress visually. So here I am. We're doing one take, one take only. <laughs> I'm normally one of those people who does a million different takes before I find one that I like. So this is different. Uh, we're doing one take tonight and we're just going with it. So um, I'm not sure if I'm going to put this on YouTube yet, but um, in case I do, I'll just share a little bit about myself. Um, I am 33 years old. I am a nurse in the Baltimore metro area. I'm also a real estate agent, but uh, not as active yet in that. I plan to in the future. Um, so just a little bit of background about me. Um, I've had problems with weight all of my life. Um, it started when I was young. Um, and it continued up until adulthood, clearly. Um, a lot of my friends nowadays are saying, well, Stephanie, why do you, why do you need this surgery? Why are you getting this? You don't even need it. Um, well, I can assure you that I do. <laughs> uh, my currently, I think my BMI is 41, between 41 and 43. I don't remember. Um, at my very highest weight, I was 330 pounds, and that's very, that's a little bit embarrassing to admit because that's quite a lot, um, and I, I'm not exactly sure how it got that bad or like how I ended up in that position, but <clears throat> that's the reality, and at this current time, I weigh 282 pounds, so I've lost uh, about 50 pounds since my highest weight. Um, so, you know, pe it's easy for people to see me now and say, well, why are you doing this? Um, it's, it's definitely needed for my health and, uh, for the mental physical benefits as well. So here I am. Uh, I have just completed my one 10 day, um, liquid diet which was very challenging in itself. Um, for my program, it was five protein shakes a day, skim milk, ice, and protein powder. That was it for 10 days. Uh, and there were definitely days that I wanted to just quit and say, what the hell am I doing? Like, why am I doing this? Um, why am I putting myself through this? Because I love food. I always have. Um, I'm, I've considered myself a bit of a foodie. Um, I, I love to cook. Uh, I think I'm actually pretty good at cooking. So food has been a pretty big part of my identity as on the whole um, my entire life. And that's all about to change. Uh, that part of my life, although I can still love food, that part of my life will not be as prominent after this surgery. And that's been a hard thing to kind of come to terms with, but it's for the better. And I'm looking forward to whatever the future brings. So um, tomorrow morning, I'm going to wake up I'm going to go to the hospital um, around 4.30ish. Uh, I have to be there at 5.30 and get checked in. So I will be recording a little bit of that maybe <laughs> if I if I'm feeling up to it um, and then once I'm out of the surgery I'll try and record a little bit of that part of things because I think 
I think it'd be a little bit funny uh, <laughs> seeing me uh, come out of anesthesia. Because uh, as an ICU nurse, I see a lot of other people uh, under anesthesia with tubes in, but it's going to be a whole different story when it's myself. So uh, I guess root for, root for me, pray for me, whatever you do. And um, tonight's my last night uh, as the me you see now, and tomorrow's a new day. So yeah, um, I think that's all about all I have to say for now, and see you guys on the other side. Bye.